According to the American Diabetes Association, millions of people around the world have diabetes. People mainly have type 2, but an important minority have type 1, which can be more difficult to control and live with. Western Mass News reporter Caroline Powers sat down with a family who experiences diabetes in more than one way and has more about the daily struggles. Could you imagine having to crunch numbers every time you put something in your mouth? How many carbs are in the yogurt? From a single strawberry to a sandwich. So that'd be a half unit? All of this math followed by an injection. That's the reality for 13-year-old Lauren and 17-year-old Allison, two sisters, both with type 1 diabetes. Type 1, you're dependent on insulin. Your body can't produce its own. Lauren has lived with diabetes since she was nine months old. She was so sick and what they call DKA, which is diabetes ketoacidosis, that she almost died, actually. Parents Larry and Kelly have worked over the years to help her control it and try to live a normal life. Growing up, my parents always checked and they always set alarms for every three hours. So at midnight and at 3 a.m. they would check me. There's absolutely no sleepovers to a friend's house. She doesn't have a typical life. They say you can manage diabetes, but you can't. It is a very difficult thing. But this past August, Allison was taken to the hospital after showing signs of diabetes and was told she too has type one. It's another step in your life. It's another thing you have to take care of. If you want to do something, you have to make sure you're okay blood sugar wise first that you've done your insulin. Trying to regulate and pay for one person's diabetes treatment is difficult enough. Now the family is tasked with double duty. Yeah, uh, the insurance is looking to change all our co-pays, increase everything. So you know, a lot of families aren't affected that way, but we have you know probably 20 prescriptions that we're filling. The pump and the a remote alone together are $9,000 not to mention the other things that Allie has, which is another 500, I'd say. Allison tells Western Mass News it can be difficult helping people understand everything her and Lauren go through with the disease. They don't know. They don't understand about it. <laughs> and you can't know it until you've lived it or you've lived with it. This May, the community is holding a fundraiser to help the Carnes family with their medical costs. You can find more information on our website, westernmassnews.com. In Westfield, I'm Caroline Powers, Western Mass News.